space. And now the question is what's next in Boston? Yeah, I think everyone's circling around the, the Bruins right now trying to understand, okay, it seems like that has now freed up the proper space to take a run at Tyler Bertuzzi. Before it was, hey, we'd really like to do it, but unless we can find a way to offload Taylor Hall, that won't be possible. Now Hall, he's just a luxury the Bruins couldn't afford. Six million bucks, production down a little bit, was injured last year as well, and just a cap hit that for a guy playing on your third line wing, Six million dollars is a little rich for any team, let alone one jammed up to the cap like the Boston Bruins are, especially with the bonus overage heading into next season. So they had to do something to free up space. Mm -hmm. They've done it. And now Bertuzzi seems to be in their sights to really try and keep this team together. But even watching the NHL awards last night, a big reminder should be a big reminder to everyone watching Patrice Bergeron collect his sixth Selkie trophy that a lot of the Bruins offseason still hinges on the idea of is Patrice Bergeron going to come back next season? What about David Krejci? And if both those guys aren't back, yeah. what do the Boston Bruins do down the middle to support their team? Well, like getting the money off the books is great, but you're right. If decide on Bertuzzi until you know about Krejci and Bergeron. Because if those two come back, bargain deals, right? They're probably going to do the same thing they did last year with the heavy hometown discount. If they don't come back, like you can't go into next year with Pavel Zak and Charlie Coyle as your one-two down no. the middle. Well, not, not to expect to compete for a Stanley Cup. And that's what the Bruins yeah. expect to do with David Pasternak, Hart Trophy finalist, Hampus Lindholm, the guy who, by the way, I voted number one on my Norris Trophy ballot. All those ballots will be released shortly. And they've got a lot of other cap gymnastics to get through yeah. because they need to figure out a landing spot for Mike Riley or buy him out. Derek Forbort's name has been floating out there. Matt Grizzlick is available. They're considering a lot of different options and Don Sweeney trading Taylor Hall to the Chicago Blackhawks was the first way to rip off the bandaid for the Bruins.